Valley where the trees to feed and got my mind on a journey.
three and a half minutes. Please uh, stick around. Uh, thank you for this wonderful Sunday. Oh, here he is. Here. Oh, hey, Johnny. Oh, look what you got. This is the first canoe I've built. That's your first canoe you built? Yes. I've only built five. One of them's on the bottom of the uh, Black River. Oh, really? <laughs> During one of our regattas. Uh, but this is the one foot uh, version that I teach in the schools, kind of grade six and up. Oh, okay. Um, so if they learn how to do uh, uh, one foot, then if they can multiply <laughs> by then, yeah. then they can uh, multiply by 10 or 12. This one's multiplied by 17. Okay, a 17 footer here. 17 footer here. Now this is a traditional, non-traditional canoe. This is what I'm working on right now uh, and built last year in, uh, structurally in 21 days, enough to actually paddle it before it was sealed. Wow. Um, up to this point, I've been building, if you can kind of see inside, there's a 12-foot trapper, so more traditional uh, First Nations canoe, 10,000-year-old technology. Uh, I took that same technology and applied it to a much thinner canoe that would never be built um, for this one main reason, that I wanted to try to build the fastest birch bark canoe ever and deem it the National Canoe of Canada. <laughs> Meaning, um, we're gonna take it across Canada and try to harvest uh, some bark, some roots, some resin, etc., from every province in Canada and, and comprise it uh, as an emblem on the, on the bow stem uh, that's the shape of the map of Canada. Every province will have their own bark for that. Wow, what a fantastic idea. Well, it, it's, it, it's kind of a, a dream that's just, uh, that I, I had last year and uh, it's starting to come to fruition right about now. Um, like I said, it took me 21 days in the bush uh, last year to build this structure. It wasn't sealed at the time and the ends were wide open, but uh, that's kind of the period of time. Most canoes take about 500 hours. Wow. Now, this is a wacky design. As you can see, like, it still has uh, some work to do on it. But it has all traditional ties, uh, traditional gumming, traditional lining, and, and ribs. But the main feature of this is the fact that it's so thin. So it's kind of an older Olympic um, solo racing dimension. Yeah. So this inner uh, cockpit is, is only 22 inches. The beam's 24 inches on it. So it basically hugs your hip. Yeah. It is designed to put one knee down, one over the center thwart, and your foot forward. So you get a good lunge to, to your paddle. Right. Uh, so this thing flies through the water. It flies. Now I've only paddled it a couple of times because I've been still doing the ceiling and yep. been taking in water. Yeah. Uh, I it's probably took in a couple of gallons the, the first time I tried it. Last weekend, it took in a liter in about 15 oh. minutes. So, <laughs> so there's a, quite a difference now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as it gets wet, everything expands. But, but back to our, our topic here is, is normally this wouldn't be done. You'd have a, a canoe that you can turn around in. So it has to be the distance from your knee to your heel. We only use natural measurements. So you can't really turn around in this canoe. No. So it wouldn't be built, but it would be traditionally um, constructed this way. Um, 17 feet disperses your weight over a longer period uh, or surface. And in doing so, um, See, folks. it gives you uh, both more stability, but you don't have to have that width. Uh, to have your buoyancy. I see. Right? So it disperses your weight. Yeah. Everything is dispersing weight. So I got to ask you a question here. What is the common or what is the uh, the commonality here between the canoe and the jazz music? What is, what is that all about? There's well, that, it, the connection between the two. Um, the, the connection for me between the two is there isn't a difference and in my mind it, it, it's just Art. One and the same. Yeah, so you're going to have stereophonic and jazz, you're going to have stereoscopic as you're sculpting something, right? Yes. We've got uh, 
stereo uh, sculpting tools. Um, but you're dealing with a lot of the same um, items where you're, you're dealing with volume. And as you said earlier, they both deal with waves. They both deal with waves, <laughs> right? They, they deal with volume. You're, you're dealing with contrast, yeah. um, uh, balance, symmetry, yeah. right? All, all this, this uh, uh, rhythm, yeah. right? And it has a certain rhythm. And it's a natural, there's a natural flow to it, right? It's all, it, it's not it's a... It's so natural, it's ridiculous. Paddling a birch bark canoe, uh, the experience of just that, is uh, is is so much more than just a, a standard canoe that you get these days, which are are 40, 50 pounds, and uh, this is we're dealing with about 32 pounds here, right? Yes. So when you're in in the boat and you're out on on the surface, you're not in the water. You're actually on the surface. You can turn these on a dime. Even this longer boat, it's a slow turner, but in essence, it, it can turn a lot quicker. Um, you're more like an animal, um, more like a duck that's on the water yeah. uh, than in a, a regular fiberglass or aluminum canoe. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Johnny. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, cheers. Appreciate it. Nice job, man. Really amazing and very, very unique. Um, you know, it's a very unique thing you're doing, I'll tell you. I, I can say I, I, I don't think we could find another one like you. <laughs> You're you, doing buddy. awesome, buddy. We really I'll appreciate it. I'll get this finished up and we'll take this across Canada. Uh, we'll start in August. Um, and uh, you can see the, the one bow stem here. It only has a thin bark on it and that will be uh, covered over with uh, bark from basically every province. That's uh, great. That, that we hit. Uh, and we'll do, uh, we'll do exhibits. Yeah. Uh, just a... Uh, I'm only going to paddle at a thousand meters per province. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, and then we'll transport it by car. I'm not actually paddling across Canada. We don't want to dent the boat. No, that'd be a bit of a journey. <laughs> <laughs> but, but thank you very much. No, thanks for doing the video. Awesome. Appreciate it.